look better hey it's lee at craftsman direct i'm in raleigh today and uh we're in a gentleman's front yard and it's snowing cherry tree blooms and if you don't believe me look at the ground um he has a bat problem and his working solution is to cover those gable vents with siding and i agreed with him and um what you can see is two of them here and i'm thinking that this one will provide a better angle and more shade but um, <clears throat> we'll look at that one. I think uh, 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 Roger suggested we've got four of these. But um, basically, to talk out the repair here, first is the uh, ladder height would not exceed, um, I don't know, 18, 16 feet or, or probably 12. But um, what we do mechanically is these two trim boards, basically one before, and we're going to have to probably pull those off and run a sawzall around this that gable he said will come out in one piece it's got a screen behind it and um he wants this siding applied i suggest that we take a piece of hardy flip it upside down so the beaded side is actually hidden underneath the part by the next piece above it and um this siding is roughly six inches of reveal so if we rip it down and rip one inch off of it it looks like it'll fall correctly and uh run a course of that from bottom to top what we need to do is probably talk to roger and see because we know that we're working on intervals of six and we've already guessed the height of that to be to two to two and a half feet which is probably 24 to 30 inches and if it's 24, we know 4 times 6 is 24. It's going to be 4 pieces of visible. And if it's uh, 2 and a half feet, that's 30, which is, is divisible by 6-inch uh, reveals times 5 boards. And what I don't want to happen is for us to end up with a couple of pieces at 6, and then we have a piece that needs a 3-inch reveal. So what I would offer my customer basically is let's take that measurement precisely when we're up there and divide that by the, the reasonable number of boards that's going to give him approximately a six inch reveal. The other option is that we begin to remove boards below it and I wouldn't think he would want to do that. So, you know, here again, you got a comment from my customer that I was guessing correctly that we take the total number divisible by the number of boards to ex run pro approximately five to six inch reveal. I want to show you this second point. Again, that looks like about 12 feet to the top or actually 12 feet to the bottom. And that might be a two by six, but it comes out and that whole gable is going to come out again we've got uh, the trim board issue here and um, one of the things i haven't talked to my customer about is our greatest challenge in life is matching paint colors and textures and i can see on his fascia board he's got some sheen and i can see on his siding boards he does not i've also told him we're going to not face nail this we're going to nail above that piece so that um, our nail points will be hidden and it'll be a prettier job we've also got to add a couple of two by fours we would like to roughly run something reasonable and uh, we know a house is studded out at 16 inches on center we're going to also need to install a piece of 5-8 sheathing he's opted for not putting in tyvek any kind of house wrap for these points and um, if i can get him maybe to help us with paint color if he doesn't have any what we'll do is actually take a piece of this off run up to sherwin williams i would like to put a sherwin williams super paint on this because it'll probably go i don't know 15 20 years in the shade like this keeping a house clean and is well protected by that i don't know that looks like an 18 inch soffit but um let's go look at the last one i think that we've seen three and around his backyard i know there's going to be one more because he said it would be uh, look at that Look at that. He's got uh, he's got uh, a deer countermeasure. Yeah. Okay. And uh, look at them. Look at them. Yeah. Look at them go. Well, they, were they, were they were heading up here. Look at look at that. Look at them go. Look at them jumping. He must have the camellias. You only have blooms on the top of the camellias, the top of the azaleas, because the deer is eating everything. 
Huh. Yeah, they just... I'd get a dog. <laughs> I don't want a dog. I don't want a dog either, but I want a dog more than I want all my flowers destroyed. Well, the people behind us got dogs, and they don't pay attention to the dogs. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, okay. It's on up. All right, so we know that door height is 80 inches. Let me do it with my fingers. I do this all the time. That's about what, 80? That's about 160. And what is that? 240. So that's a 32 foot ladder. Every bit of a 32 to get up to that one. Let me give you a super zoom. Okay. And here again, uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull off pull off the trim board. And we might can let it hang. I don't know if the whole thing's got to, got, got to come off. And that uh, two by is, will come out with saw saw. The whole vent can be removed. We got to put three pieces of framing, three two bys, five eight sheeting, and then we'll wrap that with some hardy. It looks like it would be five pieces, but that roughly is I'm guessing around seven seven feet it might go eight hardy's in 12 foot sticks so if we use our first piece here and also that that first piece below all of them i think that's got to come off too so um, what would that be like seven pieces but the very first piece would contribute to the last piece in the remnant and so maybe piece number two and let's call it piece number seven so that uh we don't have to have full pieces per piece so Anyhow, look at that. He put a uh, cover on top of the HVAC condenser. Put that up there. How about Remember that? that big snow? Yeah. At that big snow, that roof went up. <laughs> um, that snow was uh, February of 90, 2000. Yeah. Had 18 inches of snow. I push it that holes, uh, holes down if I need to. Yeah. Get up to those windows. Sure. The bees like it. The carpenter bees are eating. All carpenter bees have eaten in that. It's all treated wood. Yep. They don't mind it. Mm -mm. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. I think next year. But it's arsenic. Huh? It could be arsenic treatment on it. If it's old enough, if it's 20 years old, it's arsenic. That's not that old though. That's yeah. copper oxide. Yeah. I, I think next year I'm going to, on this deck, replace the, the flooring. Okay. With with the plastic, and replace uh -huh. the uh, lattice yeah. with plastic. Really? And have to do some. Sure.